Hey everyone, one more time, I welcome you to our English learning online program. So, like I've told you before, I know I should be starting you students with uh, your Let's Go 3, but I want to get you started with your Let's Go 2, okay? The reason being that I want us to take it from the bottom up. But we're going to be real quick, so that's going to give me an overview of what you already knew and the things that you know I need to focus on while teaching you. So without wasting any more to do, today we'll be starting it off with our let's go to starting from our unit one. And as we go on, I'll take my time to jump in into our board work section where I'm going to take you on some critical or important grammar lessons that's going to help you or help us along the way and today I've chosen the personal pro pronouns you remember our personal pronouns I you we they he she it the subject pronouns and also we'll be looking at uh, our object pronouns as well these are vital because that's what we used to talk about you know uh, identity of someone to know if it is a man, or if it is a woman, or if it is a something that we're talking about. It is also what we call subject of a sentence, because in every sentence, we've got the subject and we've got the verb. So the essence of the grammar is to see how we use the verbs and the nouns, which usually are our subject, which we can also reduce them to pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. For example, if I want to say teacher John, if I don't want to say teacher John, the pronoun that I'm going to use is he. Okay? So we also have to look at the object pronoun, like, are you talking to me? Yes. Okay? So all that we'll delve into today. So without wasting any more to do, let's quickly jump in and get it started. Track 2 Unit 1 At school Let's start A. Let's talk Hi Scott, how are you? I'm okay, thanks How about you? Pretty good Goodbye Scott See you later Track. How about you? I'm okay. Pretty good. Goodbye. See you later. I am. I'm. Track 4. B. Let's sing. The Hello and Goodbye song. Track 5. C. Let's move. Number 1. Erase the board. Number 2. Speak English. Number 3. Write my name. Number 4. Read books. Track 6. I erased the board at school. I erased the board at school.
Track 7. I erase the board at school. I speak English at school. I write my name at school. I read books at school. Track 8. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number 1. A pencil sharpener. Number 2. A picture. Number 3. A workbook. Number 4. A paper clip. Number 5. A clock. Number six. A door. Number seven. A window. Number eight. A calendar. Track nine. B. Practice the sentences. This is a pencil sharpener. That's a clock. That is. That's. This is a pencil sharpener. That's a clock. Track 10. B. Practice the sentences. This is a pencil sharpener. That's a pencil sharpener. This is a picture. That's a picture. This is a workbook. That's a workbook. This is a paper clip. That's a paper clip. This is a clock. That's a clock. This is a door. That's a door. This is a window. That's a window. This is a calendar. That's a calendar. Yeah, yeah, you've listened to that one. So it is what it is, as you can see. So we're beginning all the way from unit one. Today, hi Scott, how are you? So today we'll be focusing on R, our verb B. See, R is, I am, see what I was telling you? about the pronouns. So we're going to use pronouns a lot during the course of our study because uh, always we have to use them because they are in every sentence you can ever think of. Okay, here I am, see you later, I am is the short form. We call it the contraction form. I am is writing in full, then in short, which is the contraction form. We have I am. We also have for uh, so many other uh, pronouns as well uh, that we use together with our our verb be, like he is, she is, it is, they are. We use contractions as well. So that's going to be a topic for another day. I'm going to give you a note, a comprehensive note about contraction forms. Okay, they also the hello song. See you later, alligator. You're gonna sing the hello song. Each time you see let's move, that reminds you we are talking about verb. And verb is what verbs are the things that we do, like to erase the body. As you can see, the young boy is doing something. So erase is the verb. Yeah. Can speak English. Speak is our verb. Say I can erase the board or I erase the board at school. You see that we are still using the pronoun. He erases the board at school. They erase the board at school. They speak English. He speaks English. You see, when the pronoun changes, the verb changes as well. He speaks English. They speak English. So all that we'll be looking at because of this lesson. I can write my name. She reads 
books at school. They read book. They read books at school. When we use when we use he, she, or it, the verb changes. We have to add an s or es to the verb. But when we have I, you, we, they, we don't put any s or es to our verb. You better take note of that. And you see here, I erase the board at school. If I change this I, which is a pronoun, to he, it becomes he erases the board at school. Okay, you've listened to the CD, and I also want you to learn how to spare sharpener, pencil, picture, workbook, window, calendar, clock. See another contraction form. There is. See? So we'll be, like I told you, it's going to be a topic for another day. But okay, we're going to leave it here for today. But you have to also quickly go over to your workbook section so you can complete this exercise. So hi, Kate. How are you? I am. Thanks. How about you? Pretty good. Now you have to practice your writing after you must have finished listening or watching the video. So you take care of this one. Look on scramble and write. Erase the board. You have to unscramble this one. Arrange the words the proper way. You see here the erase board. Now they change to erase the board. Okay? That reminds me I'll be teaching you also in the subsequent uh, classes that we have about the articles. In English language, you have the. You also have uh, a and n, and when we use them. So you're going to take care of these on scramble words, then look and write. I think you did this yesterday, but I wanted you to listen to the uh, CD so you can be able to know what exactly is expected of you to write in these blank spaces. Okay? So you get this done, and I'm going to see you when you see me. Also, you have to match these ones. Which one is the workbook? Which one is the paper clip? Which one is the calendar? Which one is the clock? Which one is the pencil sharpener? Window? Picture? Door? I think you've got a lot to do, which is good for you. So you have to do up to your page. Read and circle. The door. This is a door. Is this a picture? Yes, it is. I'm not sure what we have to do. Do to page four, okay? Up to page four to this read and circle. This is a door. That is a clock. This is a workbook. That is a pencil sharpener. I told you yesterday we talked about uh, this and that. And I already explained to you. You know, when we talk about this, then we're talking about something that is one and is near to us. When we're talking about that, then we're talking about something that is one and is far away from us. Okay? Then the plural for this is these, and the plural for that is those. I think that's going to be all about it for your textbooks. Then I'm going to take you over to the board work section where I have to explain a couple of things that are intended to be part of this class. So here we are. As you can see, I've got our personal pronoun. It's a number, first person, singular. We used to know the gender, if it is a boy or a girl. So here we have an I. It could be Anybody it could be a boy, it could be a, a girl. I is I. Then the object pronoun for I is me. Here we have the second person, second person singular. So here we've got uh, you, which is singular, here. When I said I'm talking to you, I mean you, meaning one person. Also we have here again about you. When I say I'm talking to you, you people, meaning all of you. So you comes in two forms. One is 
singular, one is plural. So it depends on the dialogue, whom you're talking to or your audience or you know, who is part of the conversation. We'll let you know what exactly when you're using the you for singular or when you're using it as a plural. Okay, with that said, we have another one again. Uh, he, she, it, which we call the third person singular. You see, the first person, second, you see, the third person. I'll be using this a lot. If you don't remember anything about this lesson, just remember that the third person singular is he, she, and it. So usually we group them together when we're dealing with our pronouns. We group he, she, it together. And we group I, you, we, they together. I will be talking more on that later in our subsequent classes. But for today, I just want us to focus on subject pronoun, which is I, and object pronoun, which is me. Then you is you, he, the object uh, pronoun for he is him. I'm talking to him. She becomes her, it is it, we becomes ours, you is you, and they becomes them. I will send this one across so you can copy it inside your notebook just to remind you. Okay, that's going to be all about it for this one. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to call it today with uh, what we've done so far. So we're going to pick up from where we left off in our next class. So I'll be sending across to your Facebook uh, group the homework that I expect you to do and a couple of other exercises, you know, here and there, or just one for now, you're going to do as a follow-up to test your knowledge on the subject. Okay, thank you for watching, and see you when you see me. Bye.